thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Dangerous Curve Zuri Okoti Dress Doll from Meteor, the Roaring Twenties Remix Collection. Now, I am super excited about this doll. Zuri, number one, is one of my favorite sculpts and characters in the Integrity universe after, of course, Alyssa and Natalia. Um, also, um, every single Zuri that I've seen so far, I've liked. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because I heard that there were maybe some hair issues with some of the dolls, but I don't think that's going to be all of them, so I'm hoping I've got a good one. So, let's take a closer look. This is the shipper for Dangerous Curves Zuri Okoti Dress Doll, part of the Meteor, the Roaring Twenties Remix Collection. All right, so we've got now, of course, I love these easy to open shippers. Woo! No more shaka, shaka, shaka. You just have to open your shipper and voila, you have your doll wrapped up in tissue paper. I'm super excited because I absolutely love that orange that we're about to see here for the Meteor branding. I'm so glad that they have not changed their branding because I absolutely love these boxes. And I am putting together a collection so I can create my own club Meteor. Woo -woo. So anyway, let's take a look at the box in case you're not familiar with the Meteor line. And as you can see, it's got Meteor on the front and also it says limited edition and this is a limited edition of 1000 i believe but we'll double check that certificate of authenticity and of course it says collectible fashion doll on the back it says the same things and of course there's information on the website and of course don't choke on your doll, whatever you do. All right, so let's get this box open. And I love the way the Meteor boxes open. It's so theatrical. It's just so cool. So without further ado, let's take a look at Zuri. Ooh, I got to get my close-up on. Let's take a look. Let's get in there. Look at her. And look, look, look. Do you see what I see? Yes, the gap is back. Vaughn said that the gap would return and be on this doll periodically, and I'm so glad that he kept his word. Now, she's got a lot of hair in her face. I'm going to try to see if I can move that a little bit so that we can see her face. Really beautiful. She is giving me cheekbones, isn't she? All right, so anyway, I'm going to pull back just a little bit so that we can see what she actually looks like in the box before I remove her. And in fact, let's just a little bit closer. Wait, do I see what I think I see? That is a cocktail. Oh, I can't wait to see all the dolls in this line for the Roaring Twenties Remix Collection have come with a cocktail. So I was super excited to see what it looked like in person. So I can't wait to get it out of the bag. And of course, here is our Zuri. Oh, I can't wait to get her out of the box. Look at this beautiful navy dress that she's wearing. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It looks like there's some sort of fur or wrap or something or stole or something like that. I don't know. Of course, she's got her goodie box and, of course, her little footsies. So this is what I am going to do. I'm going to remove Zuri from this liner so that we could take a closer look at her and her accessories. So this is Dangerous Curves Zuri Okoti, and I think I know why they called her Dangerous Curves, because she looked like she got ran over. This does not uh the doll from the promo <laughs> pictures i mm, mm, this uh her sculpt the zuri sculpt is beautiful she comes in fr black and her hair color is cognac yeah cognac um, she does have her gap back. I'm very happy about that. And she does have applied 
lashes. I'm really in so in love with this sculpt. It's actually one of my favorite sculpts from Integrity. But oh, 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 mm, mm. All right, so I'm gonna pull back so that we could see what she looks like from, mm, from behind. I mean, I could, this I could probably deal with some, you know, I could probably fix this some, but I mean, she looks like she was played with. I'm going to show you the pictures of what she's supposed to look like in the promo pictures. And you can see her hair is nice and laid and, um, yeah, it, 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 it doesn't look like this. It, this is not good quality control. I am not happy with her at all although her sculpt is beautiful but the hair oh i did not pay 160 dollars for this to look have a doll looking like she was played with uh all right i'm pulling back so that we could see the dress and the dress is absolutely stunning and beautiful i really love this let me pull in look at that how that is done the scoop and everything there and the straps. This is really very nice. And of course, I'll do a 360 so that you can see it. But I just want you to see the material there. And then as you go down to the skirt part, as you can see, it's still a dress, but I mean the skirt part of the dress, you can see it is sheer. I see a string hanging somewhere inside there. So I guess I will try to have to find that string. Wait a minute. What kind of string is hanging out from... Excuse me? Excuse me? Does she really have a string hanging from... Mm. Oh, oh, what is going on with this doll? I am just... I am not amused. She does come with a really cute mirror tag. <laughs> That's really cute. Her body is the Meteor 1.0 body. And she also, of course, has the high-heeled foot. Um, from behind, you can also see that it has the latches in order to remove uh, and put on the outfit. I would have preferred a zipper, but I'll take latches too. So, Zuri actually comes with a lot of other accessories. So, let's take a look at those. So these are the accessories that you get with Dangerous Curves Zuri Okoti. So let's take a closer look. We're going to start with the jewelry. I really love this Art Deco inspired earring set. And I also, as you can see, she comes with two rings. And also, I really love this cuff bracelet. Look at that. That is really absolutely beautiful. You can see the detail of the earring. It's a little bit harder to see the rings. You can see one's kind of a, either some sort of diamond and then another is just a round one. Also, she comes with this purse here. It's kind of like a chrome uh, pleather purse with a little chain. And it actually also opens up like a little coin purse. Very cute. Also, she comes with this uh, beaded necklace. Now, mine did not have the strings on it, so I'm just laying it on here so that you can see for some reason the strings were not attached to, well, the strings were not on it that attached it to the cardboard. So I'm just gonna have it like this, but I'll put it on the doll so that you can see what it looks like. Also, you get a pair of grip hands as well, and yes, you can see the manicure there, the polish, really cool color. And this newly developed shoe that Integrity created with the O shape, really cool. And I look forward to seeing more of this. You can see the shoe has the buckle detail on the side and look at that O thing, really Really cool. I can't wait to see how that looks on the doll. Also, we get, yes, a cocktail. And this cocktail looks really good. I'm like, mm, I wonder what it tastes like. Mm, mm, mm. But that's just the greedy part of me, or maybe the lush, or maybe a combination of both. 
stove. <laughs> but the drink looks really very cool. I'm just loving these little, looks like, like almost like boba, but you know, I guess you're not really supposed to look at it that close. So it's really cool, like with ice cubes or something like that. I don't know. But you also get this faux fur stole. Now this looks a lot like the one that you get with Lounge Siren Poppy Parker. And in fact, I have Lounge Siren somewhere around here. One moment, please. So here I have Lounge Siren Poppy, and as you can see, the stole that she has is very similar to the stole that comes with Zuri, but of course it is a different color. But look at the little details there with this. It's really, in fact, let me just kind of remove this so that you can see. Look at this, this is really cool. And of course it is lined inside. But as you can see, very similar to the one that Lounge Siren Poppy comes with. Of course, that's not all that Dangerous Curve Zuria Koti comes with. Of course, she comes with the Meteor display stand, and it has the Meteor branding in the orange, just like all of the bases do in the Meteor line, which I absolutely love. It gives it its own distinctive look, and but it also has the acrylic shape, well, acrylic material and the square shape of fashion royalty. So very, very cool. But you know what they also included? You know what they included? A certificate of authenticity. And this shows us that I have number 645 out of 1,000, which means there are 1,000 of this doll out there worldwide. So I am going to put all of Zuri's accessories on and see what she looks like. And then we'll also introduce her to our panel to see what they have to say about this doll, her outfit, and her hair. I would like to welcome our panel. First, we have event coordinator of Club Meteor, Amira Majid. Next, we have lead mixologist at Meteor, Navia Fan. And last, but never least, Actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So before we speak to our panel, let's do a 360 of Dangerous Curve Zuri Akoti. So I wanted to look at her from all angles. And you can see she's got her stole, she got her drink, she's got her accessories on, and of course her purse. So let's go in closer and take a look. Now I'm trying to ignore that hair, so I am gonna go in for the face. And, well, the hair's coming, but look at that beautiful jewelry. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I love the hair color. I do love the curliness going on over here. It's just the front is kind of, ugh. But let's look at the dress. Look at the detail in that that's really, really nice. And you can see the ring and the drank. And then of course the stole. And look at the little crystals in the stole, very nice. And of course, the dress. I love that cut out peekaboo. Oh, look at that bracelet and the manicure is really beautiful. And the ring, of course, and she's carrying her purse. I'm gonna go down and take a look at these fabulous shoes. These were really easy to put on, I just must say. Let's keep looking at them because they're super cool. Now I'm gonna go up a little bit again. And let's see if we can take a little look at the back there. Very nice. I want to see that gorgeous face. Absolutely beautiful. I love that gap. And I love how her eyebrows are even thin, kind of like the 20s. Very, very cool. I'm going to go back and take a look at that in just a second. Of course, that cool purse. 
But let's go take a look at those eyebrows. Very nice. Very beautiful. And that is the 360 of Dangerous Curves Zuri Okoti. All right, panel, I'd like your thoughts on Dangerous Curves Zuri Okoti. Mira, I'm going to start with you, and I see you have a note. And you say, The factory in China must be very humid. <laughs> hmm, maybe. <laughs> and Navia, I love coming to you because you always pour the tea. And you have a note. And you say, oh. it looks like the mob is still trying to collect that debt, even though Amira gave her money. <laughs> Did the mob jump her in the alley? Is that what happened? <laughs> and Alyssa, you have a note. And you say... She's giving private dancer realness. I don't know, Zuri. I might have to contact patient care. What do you guys think out there in the audience? Let me know in the comments. And my panel, well, thanks for uh, your opinions and thoughts. This is a really tough one for for me because in all ways I absolutely love this doll. I think her screening is gorgeous. I love that the gap is back. I love the dress. I love the stole, the accessories. I love everything about this doll except for the hairstyle that I got is not the hairstyle that was in the promo picture. I mean, I, mean, I guess I could try to do, a, I'm not good with doing hair and, and I'm like, Maybe I could do a little bit of work on it, but it's still not going to have that tight finger wave kind of look that it's supposed to have. And honestly, when I took her out of the box, I was really shocked. I sent pictures to my friends thinking, I'm like, is it me? And I'm like, I just, uh, it's just, it's a lot of money to pay to have to try to fix it to that kind of, that extent, that detail. I kind of felt almost like, when she came out of the box, she looked kind of like one of those flea market finds where, you know, you say, ooh, I got that doll. I'll fix her when she when I get home. And then she'll be really gorgeous and brand new. But that's how she came. So I don't know. I'm going to contact patient care and I am hoping that they will send another head, maybe exchange it or something like that for another head because I'm just really disappointed in the hair that I got. I mean, if I could play with it maybe and restyle it or something, I don't know. I'm not a stylist. I don't really have those skills. And again, at $160, I don't feel like I should have to really utilize those types of skills. So I don't know. Von Sawyer did a great job on this doll. I think the doll is absolutely wonderful, but maybe quality control in the factory. Ugh, I don't know. This is an issue. So, I don't know. Love the doll. Hopefully, when we can get this fixed, then I can maybe appreciate the doll a little bit more than I do. It was just really disappointing because I was really looking forward to this doll. So, eh, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you be okay with her looking this way? Or would you contact patient care? Let me know what you think. So, I hope that you liked this video. It was tough to make, I must say. <laughs> and if you did, then please make sure that you click the like button somewhere down there in the area here below the screen. <laughs> and when you do, that's how I know that you'll like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, then please make sure that you do. When you do, you get notified of when I do videos just like this one. So. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.